Tell me where you're from. I'm from Michigan. Uh, last year, I had a car accident. I was rear-ended on a highway and my mouth got locked after two, three weeks. Yeah. And then I had done a lot of treatment for it, had bite splints, Botox, muscle relaxants, antidepressants. And my mouth was always Limited worse nothing. with bite splint and I did physical therapy that helped a little. Yes. But the splint was horrible that it brought back to where it was. The physical therapy was not helping. So when you walked in here a few days ago, we screened you and we uh, used MRI and CT imaging to kind of look at the status of your joints because typically when someone can't open, either the disc is torn out, uh, the TMJ disc, or the muscles are in spasm or both. So um, how many finger widths were you able to open um, when you were coming here? One finger, mm -hmm. one and a half. Maybe two at the most? Yeah, at the most with so much difficulty too. And show us what you can do now. Show us how many fingers. Three or more? It's different, right? It's it's more than what I walked in. Yes. Um, according to the your calculation, I was like 23 with with pain and without pain, I was 19. Yes. Now it's almost 40. Yes. So it changed big it time. It changed big time. So. All the but week. since I was in a car wreck and I have other issues going on with the neck, yeah. So I cannot say I'm out of pain. Right. But there are so many other layers. Mm -hmm. So I think you help me whatever you can yep. with your technology. I am able to open more, but the dislocated disc is not going to come back. Well, the good news is you're you're only laterally displaced. Yeah. So and you're reducing. So your Piper three A's both sides. That's not terrible. You know you're lucky because your medial poles are at least stable so that's 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 good for long-term stability you know you're a lucky lady because usually the DTR doesn't necessarily help in a case like this with a you know a mouth that won't open all the way uh, partly because the disc is usually in play blocking it but yours because lateral pole only is torn it's not that big a deal so you know but you have like you said many other layers even before we decided to do the treatment on you we told you that it would be a good idea for you to see one of the specialists like Dr. Piper are you going to see him? Yes, I'm going to see him for because in my city I don't have people who can relate to neck and TMJ together. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing each specialty separately. I don't think that is a good idea. Mm -hmm. Even if I go to the same big hospital specialty, they are treating me separately for separate condition. Right. He yeah. understands what other layers I am having than right. just TMJ. Yep. So we've got a TMJ problem. We've got neck issues. We've got sympathetic nervous uh, tissue issues. You know, we've got, there's a lot of layers going on here. So the occlusal, the bite part, we helped you with. And your bite, does it feel different? I mean, how does it feel now compared to before we did it? The bite. When it's, you it's better. Yeah. Feel more even? Mm hmm Like a better home? Is that fair? Mm hmm So what advice do you have for other people? What would you like to tell them? Everyone, if they can afford and they can really come, they have to come see you. At least cross their fingers of how much they can be Helps. done yeah. or helped. I crossed my fingers while coming here. I saw some patients with you not doing them DTR when mm -hmm. they are locked like me. Mm -hmm. There was a video that at the same time I'm keeping my fingers crossed to get this DTR done and mm -hmm. see what can happen. You well, know. because that's not just what we do here. I mean, the neural occlusion screening is the big deal. The DTR, that's, that's something I've been doing forever, and there's other people doing it now. You know, the screening, the fact that we're tying in the joints and measuring with MRI and CT and correlating that with whether or not DTR is a good thing to do or not, or whether it's efficacious or not, that's completely unique here. I have done MRI and CT in my city too, mm -hmm. but no one explained like you. Right. And like no, everything and was everything was normal. The radiology reports, I don't think they got to. And I was locked in the same yeah. MRI. They were written that I was locked and my discs are normal. How it cannot be that? Your so. lateral poles are not normal. Your medial poles are normal. You're lucky there. 
but you no, know, the radiologists, uh, they typically, they're not taught to distinguish lateral from medial pole, the two halves, and that's extremely important. So, and almost nobody does this. So, when the radiologist gets a TMJ to read, he's just doing what he was taught in his residency. And there's not a lot of reads happening because most people aren't looking. You know, because does insurance cover this? Well, typically not. So you need to have it done. So what do we, what do we spend? Six hundred dollars to get your MRI? Yes. Five something. Five forty. Yeah, it's not. Too, I mean, it's it's because money. of the cities and patient yeah. discount for you. I yeah, think. yeah, we use them a lot. You yes. have to diagnose the problem. You can't just blindly shoot at it. So I would not have touched you without an MRI. That's the bottom line. And I encourage all the other doctors that are learning how to do the DTR to start learning how to image the back with an MRI and a CT. And that takes a lot of training, so they need to get on it. The doctor I have seen took MRI too, but he told, don't worry about it, I'll get this splinter. Yeah, and and he didn't even check what it is, MRI, not discuss with me, he what's happening. To, he doesn't really know how to read it. Yes, he doesn't He know. delegates that to the radiologist and they assume that they all know what they're talking about. That's, mm -hmm. that's what's going down. And uh, it's not that the radiologists are bad, Nobody's looking, so they don't have the right training. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the reasons I'm seeing a Dr. Piper. Guess who the best in the world at reading an MRI of the TMJ is? Dr. Piper, because he's imaged, what, 27,000 people? I mean, and he's opened up a bunch of them because he's a surgeon. So nobody knows better. So you need to go chase other, other layers and, you know, you need to let us know how you're doing. Everyone should come and see you just to see what's happening and get no one read to me like MRA like you did. Yeah. The values and precise. Yeah. And you're a computer scientist, right? Yeah. I believed in values. Yeah. You have you have a master's, so you know math. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone told me not to change your bite. But I thought being in let's try it. Yeah. You know? We didn't change that much. Yeah. We we added a little bit to, to your canines, removed almost nothing off of your back. Okay. This is minor. This is more natural. So we're catching your bite up to the status of your joints. That's what we're doing. All right, so. Thank you th so much, Dr. Nick. Thank you very much. Thank you.